Well, good morning YouTube. It's another grey day here in Cambridge. Um, a few of you have asked about our fence-mounted solar panels and how they've been getting on. Obviously on a day like this, not too great. But let's take a look at the numbers from the last three months and we'll see how they've been getting on. Okay, so this is our fence-mounted solar system. So we have four 215 watt Sanyo panels. These are actually 15 year old panels that came off of our roof about three or four months ago. So as an experiment, I mounted them on the fences. Um, over the course of the summer, we started around about May, we've been gathering some extra power from them. I really didn't want to throw them away. They seem such a waste. They're working panels. They've probably got another 10 to 15 years of life in them. So as you can see, they have about a five degree tilt this lets them come off of the, the fence and just sort of gather a little bit more light. They've been running now since early May. Um, during the summer, they generated a, quite a reasonable amount of power. But since my last update, not so good. Let's take a look at the numbers and we'll see how they've been performing. Okay, so we're back in the office. It's a little bit warmer in here. Um, I can actually drink my coffee, keep warm. Let's take a look at the EcoFlow app and see how the panels have been performing. Now, if I fire the app up, we can start maybe with a look at the entire year, as I say, since May when we installed the panels, um, we can see we've generated 188.96 kilowatt hours, which is not a huge amount of power, but it's all free. It's all using recycled panels and hardware that I had in place um, so it's been no extra cost to me to be able to run this experiment. So 188 kilowatt hours so far of free power. If we actually take a look at the months, and let's go back all the way to um, the beginning, so May, hardly anything because we only installed them in the last couple of days of May. We take a look at June, so about 50, kilowatts, uh, 50 kilowatt hours in June, uh, about 45 in July, 45 in August, so July and August. We didn't have a particularly great summer this year. So not too bad from a generation point of view in July and August. But as we start to see, as we go into September, as we start to get the shorter days, the cloudier days, only 25.6 kilowatts. And then as we get into October, we're tailing off again into 17. And obviously the first few days of November have been utterly miserable, totally overcast, haven't seen the sun for a week. So uh, hardly surprising anything there. But as, if you look at the graph for a whole year, you can start to see as we start to tail off towards the end of the year, I'm fully expecting this month, December, January, to be a complete bust and to do absolutely nothing. And then as we start to get into late February, early March, um, heading towards when the clocks change again, we should start to see the generation pick up. So I'm going to estimate somewhere around about 400 to 450 kilowatt hours for the year. Now, again, not a huge amount of power. Um, the panels on my roof will produce many, many times more of that, but it's free extra power. And every one of those kilowatt hours that I generate from those panels is a kilowatt hour that I'm not buying in from the grid. That's it for this video. The numbers haven't been great, and I expect them to continue to go down as we head down through the uh, winter equinox, December the 21st, and then things will start to get slowly better. But I'm not expecting much from them, probably to start again somewhere around about the end of February. But we will leave them in place, we'll run them for a full year, we'll gather the numbers, and we'll see if it's worthwhile. Hope you found this useful. If it is, please do hit that like and subscribe button down below. And if I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Thanks. Bye-bye.